go. Welcome back guys. This is Janet Adams and I am coming to you with a bins haul. A bins haul and Bryn Dias. And Bryn Dias. <laughs> who is the director and Bryn's mom. Bryn's mom. And Daisy Grace, who's the bulldog. And Frankie whining in the background. So if you hear him, he's whining because Daisy Grace gets to be up. So we have a bins haul. I've done a couple of these for you guys. This is just a small one. This is one of the ones that Bryn picked up on her way home from work. So I have not seen these items in person. I have seen pictures of most of them and that is it. So a lot of times she's a little bit on her own. She'll send me a picture of a brand that she's not familiar with or something like that and then ask me, should I get this or not? So our very first item, which we love, is a scout bag. Are we gonna be able to sell this one? It's kind of small, so unless you want it. No, it's small for me. I mean, it's pretty small. I like the bigger scout bags. But I love that plaid and it is in very good condition. No corner wear at all. And they sell well. Yeah. Or so they do well. A great bins pickup and Again, hate to say it, but I have to. Weighs nothing. <laughs> Weighs nothing. But that's a factor when you're at the bins. It it's is. It's a big factor. You know, that bag probably costs less than a dollar. Yeah. And it will probably resell for 20 Yeah. So. I was worried about those, but you said to get them, so. These are called Zero Gravity by Cole Hahn. And they're in very nice condition. You got it? Uh, hold on. Yep, I got it. And I really liked the styling of them. We have a little bit of an issue over here, though. Oh, no, it's made that way. Because, see, that one, wait, that one's the same way. I was thinking that, see how the right here? Oh, yeah, it's, it's different. But it's the same on both shoes, so it's oh, okay. obviously intentional. Okay. And these are just a little pair of wing tips. The leather is very soft. The soles are in excellent condition. I, I definitely would have gotten these. I think that these were a great pickup. And these are a size 10 medium. Okay. Then we have a J Crew. J Crew, you do you. Oh, look, this is that leopard print that we like so much. Oh. <laughs> Red called uh, zebra print, <laughs> leopard print, and she's never going to live it down. Ever, ever. And J. Crew right there. Got it. Just a little canvas tote bag, but worth picking up. Hopefully. Those do really well for us, like the Lanza and the L. Bean. Yeah, they really do. I'm shocked that we, I mean, that they sell so well. And that is the sack. I love the size of this one. It's a little bit bigger than some of theirs. And it is in excellent condition. Looks not really used. Oh, there's a little bit right there. A little bit of staining to the lining. But otherwise, I probably would not have known that the bag had even been used. And would you have got that? Nice and heavy. Huh? Would you have picked that up? Yeah, I definitely would have picked that up. Okay. So, great little sack. Then we have an apron. It is Keflon. So, just this great little kitchen apron. I would have picked that up, too. Okay, oh, Vera Bradley. We do have a lot of Vera Bradley in our closet, and we do get quite a bit at the bins as well as in our thread up boxes. So we are a Vera Bradley one stop shop soon <laughs> at the rate we're going. <laughs> and I like that it's just the solid navy blue. And then it opens up like this. Okay. And then Got a it. coin purse on the back. Got it. Then we have a Rolf's, which I looked up comps and I was surprised they were pretty good. It's a men's wallet, but here's the brand. 
I got. Then this bag, which is rock flower paper. And I love this one. Super cute and fun. Love the fish. Perfect little beach bag. And then I have one more small bag of stuff. This was a little bit of a smaller haul. We have Scala, which I have heard good things about. There are lots of good sold comps online, which tells me that it moves. And it's just this cotton canvasy little floppy hat with the Scala right there. Yes, got it. And little Polo Ralph Lauren pink hat. We need to wash this one. It's a little dirty, but that's okay. We can wash it. I love the leather on the back. Very classic polo look. And let's see, one size only. So I don't know, is that a woman's or a man's? Woman's probably, I'm not sure. Is it unisex? Then oak leaf flip flops. which she was very unsure of. They look, I mean, honestly, I'm, I don't think that these have been worn, Bren. Okay. She was saying that they looked really good on the bottom. I mean, they were maybe tried on, but the reason why I say that is the bottoms look really good. I'm not seeing any drag here, which you would normally see pretty quickly. Uh -huh. Just a little bit, just a little bit of street wear to them. But then look at the toes. I don't see any toe marks at all. Oh yeah. And the camera should tell you because the lights are on mm -hmm. and you would see a little bit of darkening. I don't see any darkening. I think these are brand new. Okay, would you have so, got this? Definitely. And these are size 11. Okay, so, so good size? Great men's eyes. Then we have this fun little pink. There's pink all along the strap and it's this pineapple sunglass dude purse little tote bag oh and i think that it's a lunch bag it's lined like it's a lunch bag let me pass that to you jody tell me what you think is that a lunch tote i'm guessing now oh, i think so i think so i think so that's yeah yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> cute. very cute then we have Glass Ladder and Company. I have one of these already in my closet. I got it in a fun box and I found out that this is a technology organizer. So this puts all of your cords, all of your um, charging stuff, um, all of that stuff into the one case. I think that it would also be great as a makeup bag for brushes and all of that stuff. I do see, oh no, that's nothing. So now I can take my listing and I can just add quantity of two. Okay. Because it's the exact same thing. And then we have coach. Look at this coach, guys. And they say that the small coaches, the little mini bags are in. I have not had that experience in my closet with the ones that I do have. I've got a little bit of something on there, but that is definitely not wear or a stain that's gonna wipe right off. And I have the same thing over here, just a little bit of something. But this bag looks, I mean, I see one or two scuffs right there. Okay. But this bag looks in excellent, excellent condition. And let me see, I've got Coach right there on the hardware. I've got my little hang tag there. And I do have a creed in this. I didn't think that I would because it's you so do? small. A lot of the coach, the small coaches don't have creeds. Here's my creed, Bryn. Okay. And the last four, six, nine, five, six. And then my very last item is the bag that it was all 
being held in, which I believe. I can't even find a tag in there, man. I thought this was a 31, but I don't see so a tag. So did I, but I, I told you it was, but then I, I thought I saw the tag, but. Yeah, I don't see a maker on this. So I don't it know. What, certainly I'm looks sorry. Like a 31 piece. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what we do with it then. I thought it was a 31 no, bag. I kind of like it. It's a great size. And I like that it's got, I mean, it's obviously a quality piece because it's got, you know, the matching little shoulder thing so that you don't kill your shoulder. And it looks brand new. And inside there is a ton. Tell me if you can see that. Yeah. A ton of organization. Yep, you can see it. I really thought that was 31. I'm sorry. I mean, this may be something that we have to give to either Jody or my mom or something because it is unbranded. Okay. But, I mean, it looks brand new. So I it would does. have absolutely picked this up too. And the size is great. It's a perfect travel size. It is. So that was it for that Vince haul. All right. Tell us what you thought. Tell us what your favorite piece was. Tell us what... You think I could do better? We love feedback. We love it. in here and just always saying like, yay, this was great. While it's wonderful and I love to hear it. <laughs> we would love some, some honest feedback as well. So thank you very much. We appreciate you watching. Jody, what did you think of this Vince Hall? I thought it was, had some great things in it. This is fun to watch. We are trying to be a little bit more selective, and I think that that shows in this one. Okay, I hope so. Rin did um, a good job, I think. Thank you. We love the Greensboro bins. Great, great staff. Great people that work there. They are great people that work there. They're wonderful. We really enjoy them. Um, and there's a ton of resellers there, but for the most part, they are all very nice and respectful. I very. mean, it gets pretty intense at times, especially when fresh bins come out, but... I did have something stolen from my buggy, <laughs> which was the first time that's ever happened to me, and I was so shocked. It's awful, but... And it was a female that did it. I, I don't remember which one. It just doesn't one. happen very often at the base. No, bins. I've never, ever been concerned about that, ever. And it was fresh fins, and I'm kind of glad. I was going to throw this item back, probably. It was a Michael Kors little small crossbody with the big MK on the front. But it looked like the MK was pretty beat up, but it was fresh bin. So I was just, you know, grabbing and going, grabbing and going. And I tossed it in my buggy and I saw some movement in my peripheral vision. And I didn't think that much about it. And I turned, when I went to sort my stuff, all of a sudden the Michael Kors wasn't there. And I was like, that little bitty. But, but you, know, you, learn, you live, you learn. The nice thing is that now I know that when I've got my really nice coach, or my really nice, you know, Sorel boots or Fry boots or something good that I have found on duck feet <laughs> that those need to be buried underneath the 31 tote bag. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So yeah. learning lessons, learning lessons. So thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. I think thank that you. Jody's going to be going back soon, which we're really sad about. Hopefully we're going to try to beg her to come back. Um, for some weekends, depending on how long they're in Myrtle Beach. would love to see her again and love the help. So thank you so much for tuning in. And thank we hope you. that you have a great night. Thank you very much. Have a good night, folks. Take care. Bye-bye. Hold on one second. She did really good.